Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Keshav and in this video, I'll show you how you can jailbreak your device which is running on iOS 14.3. And for a matter of fact, all devices, whether that's an iPhone 7, 8, 10 are supported. As you all know, I'm a big fan of upfront conclusions and I don't like to waste your time. So if you have a Mac, then only watch this video. But wait, before you click off this video, just listen what I'm saying. If you have a Windows PC, please head over to my Windows tutorial that I'll link down in the description below as well as in the pinned comment. If you don't have a PC or a Mac and want to jailbreak iOS 14.3, it's not possible at least yet when I'm making this video. So please don't look for one and do something better with your time. Oof, that's a lot. Let's jump into it. Well, hey, you're on my MacBook screen right now. And the first thing you have to do, open any browser of your choice. As I already told you, I won't waste your time. So iDevice.com, your one-stop site for all jailbreaking related news, Apple news, plus no ads, no affiliate links, no video pop-ups and all those things. Why I'm showing you this? Because all the links required in order to perform this method, this jailbreak will be here in my blog in a systematic way so that it's easy for you to understand. Plus all the links required in order to perform this method using a Windows PC will also be here in my blog. If you don't want to check it out, you can just simply head over to check green and just click on download. The download will start straight away. By the way, I'll link both check Green's website plus my blog. So you guys can check it out from the description. Plus I also want to quickly mention by the time it's downloading. So I just want to quickly mention that you guys can also follow me on Twitter. I post jailbreaking related news, when to eat dabs, get signed and all that good stuff. So it's just up to you if you want to check me out and it's now downloaded. Close Safari and then open Finder. Under Downloads section, you'll see Checkrain Beta 0.12.1 DMG. Just double tap to open it up and now it's checking the volumes. Once it's done, you just want to drag Checkrain to Applications and click on Replace. Why it's showing me to replace? Because before making this video, I already practiced jailbreaking iOS 14.3. So I've already installed Checkrain, but uh, so that you guys can understand um, reinstalling it. Once it's done, go to Launchpad, click on Checkrain. And now this error comes with macOS Big Sur. I don't know if that's the case with macOS Catalina, but Checkrain cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. The next thing, click on Cancel. Again, go to Launchpad, again click on Check Rain and just take this error to a site. Go to System Preferences and under Security and Privacy, go to General tab. By default, it will take you to Privacy tab. Go to General tab, click on this Unlock icon, use Touch ID or your password depending upon which Mac you have. And the second time it shows you this error. It will show that check rain was blocked from use because it's from an unidentified developer. Click on open anyway and set allow apps download from app store and unidentified developers. You can change this after you jailbreak your device. So now we'll click on cancel. Do not move it to bin. Again, go to check rain and this time instead of moving it to bin, you'll see an option to open it. And boom, there you go. Check rain is there on our device. But before jailbreaking, minimize check rain. You'll see this disk image here on your desktop. Click on eject, go to uh, finder and then under download section, you just want to delete this DMG file. We'll move it to bin. And now everything is organized so that it's easy for you to understand where are the steps and what to do next because we deleted unnecessary files and all that stuff. Now, welcome to check rain. The next thing you have to do is bring your iPhone and connect it to your PC using a lightning cable. Okay, once Checkrain is successfully launched, the next thing you have to do is bring any kind of adapter because if you know, modern Macs do not have a port where you can plug your normal USB type A. So the next thing you have to do is bring any kind of adapter in order to plug the lightning cable that came with your iPhone. So we'll do the same thing. We'll bring this little adapter. And if you don't have this adapter, you can just buy it for like $1 or you can bring a lightning cable, which is USB type C to lightning. This thing came with my AirPods. If you have those AirPods Pros, you can just bring the cable that came in with that. But for the sake of this video, we'll just put this little adapter and then we'll put our lightning cable. Plus for those who don't know how to plug your lightning cable, 
in your phone and in your PC. I'll link a full tutorial, but in a simple way, you just want to bring this cable and you just want to bring this cable and like snap it in like this. And this will connect your phone to your PC. Again, iOS 14.3 on our screen, iOS 14.3. And now we are greeted with an error message. It says iPhone 7 GSM is supported on iOS 14.3 but it's untested for you this might say that you cannot even start the option to start will be disabled so sorry iphone 7 is supported but ios 14.3 is not a simple solution to this problem is you just want to go to options click on allow untested ios and ipad os versions go back and now you can start this jailbreak plus it's very important if you have an iphone 8 8 plus or an iphone 10 you want to enable skip a11 bpr check because if you enable this this will disable all sap related stuff on your iphone only enable this option which is skip a11 check if you have an iphone 8 8 plus or an iphone 10 in my case i'm using an iphone 7 so i probably won't do that so i'll bring my phone over here and the next thing do not enable quick mode this is so dumb Click on start, click on OK, it will say untrusted developer, blah, 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 what not. And this will basically take your device in recovery mode. Do not worry, nothing will happen to your device. It's perfectly safe. And now your device is in recovery mode. Before we go next and click on start, many people ask me this question that they are jailbreaking their device. Imagine if they unplug their device, the laptop dies and what not. The most that can happen while jailbreaking is your device will boot back to iOS. Nothing will happen to your device. Like the term jailbreaking sounds, it's very dangerous and all that stuff, but it is not. It's very fun. You can install these tweaks and all that good stuff. Click on start and depending upon which device you have, it will show you that keep hold, release the side button, but keep holding the volume button or if you have an iPhone 10, the steps for you might be different, but this needs to enter your device in DFU mode in an order to jailbreak it. And now waiting for devices in DFU mode. Hey, you can see the phone is being jailbroken and everything is working fine. The question that you'll ask why the phone is so shrunk down, why I cropped the footage. Actually, I lost all the footage while I was doing this jailbreak. Uh, the end part of the footage i was moving it to my hard drive and i lost it all so i arranged this footage and like edited it so that it could work fine and you guys could understand everything is going fine so sorry for that and back to the video okay once we jailbreak our device you'll see check rain icon click on it and then you'll see install cdia click on install cdia it will basically download and install cdia on your ios device and boom everything should work fine now either way that's been it hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as i did while making it if you did drop a thumbs up down below and i'll catch you all very soon peace